So this is going to be a short series on how to measure uh, engine parts. In this case, I'm measuring uh, the engine bore. And I'm first going to use this little tool here. It's shaped like a T. And at the end here, it's got a spring inside at the, uh, at the smaller part. And these two little pins, they they're sprung, they they are forced apart. The spring holds them apart. And when I put them in the bore, that ensures that they touch both sides. Then when they touch, I tighten this knob here at the end, and uh, they it keeps them where they are at. So first test, I've already done that. I'll show you again in just a second, but. The first test I want to do is just a field test before measuring anything. So I use this first board here. And you know what? Let me just redo it. So as you can see, that's what it does. And then once you tighten it, it stops it. So it keeps it where it is, where it's at. It keeps it in place. Put it inside the bore like that. Keep it straight as straight as possible. Move it around a little bit. I'm going to start measuring. Well, I'm going to start measuring the top. So there's still a little bit of a ridge at the top, and uh, that's pro that's how it was originally cast. So. Below the ridge is where it's already worn out. I want to first measure the ridge to see if it corresponds to what the manual says. There. Now, the feel, feel test so I'm just going to place it inside the other bores and I want to see if there's any noticeable feel difference, if some of them feel looser than this one. This one feels a bit tighter. Remember, that's on the ridge. Make sure there's no scratches, no carbon deposits. This one was definitely, you can see that it won't even go in as far as this one. So this one is a little bit bigger, at least um, originally this one is about the same as this one. So all five of them are about the same, except for this one. At least that's the top. Now, I'm going to do the test this way, perpendicular, to see if there's any feel difference. That, that would mean out of round. This feels about the same as this. And of course, we'll measure it. They all feel about the same. So now I'm going to start actually measuring. So this is just, there's no way you can measure with this device. It just copies the size. So to actually measure it, you either need a vernier or you need, and by the way, the little T set comes like this. There's a little set of it. It's called telescoping gauges. Telescoping, telescoping, whatever. Or you can use this tool here, which I prefer to use this one. Because this other one, the vernier, it's got a very fine set of gauges that move this dial. And if people drop it, 
Uh, they're very sensitive if you can uh, damage. The gears are extremely small. So, but I will actually use both of them. And I'll also use this guy here, which is called, uh, I don't know. I think it's called a Bora gauge. So I'll pause the machinist. He's got these tools here. So let's start with this one. to get the next biggest size. So it's too a bit too small. So you've got to check the increments. I believe they're not all the same. This one, each small increment is 0 0.001, and the next uh, increment is 0 0.25, and the big increments with the numbers are uh, 0 0.1. So, sorry, 0 0.1, not 0 0.01. So it's from largest 0.1, uh, 0 0.025, then 0 0.001. So how do I know? Because on this dial there are 25 markings and it says here 3 inches. So uh, let me organize my thoughts here. Um, I actually use the small one, the smallest one, to measure what I and I use the feeler gauge to smell what to, to measure, not to smell. To measure what the smallest, not smallest, the smallest increment was, and that's what I found it to be. And then I just uh, you can also determine it by increasing this all the way. So I'll probably I probably have to do a whole video explain how this works. So. Just keep turning it till it's tight. It's tight enough. Doesn't fall off. So, what do we have? I have to measure it again. Got a little lock here as well, but it's got a little lock on it too. So let me just do that again. Measuring three point one twenty five. Each increment is zero point zero one. So three point one. Two. 
to five. So I've got 0.1 inches, then I've got another 0.25, and then I've got on, on this cylinder here, 0.25, and each of those marks is 0 0.25. And the big marks is 0.1, so I've already got 3.125, and now for the third decimal, I'm sorry, for the fourth decimal, 3.125, uh, it's the biggest number, so it's going to change. It goes around in, in an odd way. I'm sure the tips are clean too, by the way. So 3.125. Uh, that would be... Sorry, it's actually 3.1. Not 3.125, it's 3.12. So the first one is actually 3.12. Um, this way, let's see the other way. And on the other way, it's I, I usually try to uh, start from the largest mark, keep it at zero, and then turn till it reaches the. Uh, it's hard to explain till it reaches. So I, I I start. So let's say I found the place where it's sitting at. I look at that, and then I turn it back to the to the to the closest full mark. Which is on the cylinder, not on the little, not on the big dial, with the smallest increments. So I put it on the cylinder with the big increments, and first I measure the big increment, and then the small increment between it, which there are three marks, which is therefore four spaces. So that's why each of those small marks is 0 0.25 an inch, right? And, uh, Four of them make the big mark, which is 0.1. Then after that medium mark, I then turn the dial counting the decimals here. So that's what I should do. I was trying to do it directly, but it's, it's hard. So let me measure this one. in there pretty much perfectly so these that cylinder should be round let's do it properly now more efficient Yeah, it just confuses me a little bit which way the dial turns, so that's three point I 
don't think this gauge is too good either. Alright, so it seems to me that this is somewhat like an adjustment to the knob at the end. So let's redo this measurement. I've got to make sure that the zero marks are aligned. So that they're not. That's 3.025, sorry, 3.125. Actually, no, that's right, 3.025, 050, 075, 3.1, sorry. Two five five two sixty two sixty five seven. It's actually a three point one six five. Get back on that. I'm struggling on the measurements. <laughs> it's hard to see as well. Got something in my eye. <laughs> 